All right, uh, getting ready for the first, oops, getting ready for the first startup. I have confirmed. I have oil pressure. I have no water in it right now, so it's gonna be just a brief little make sure everything still runs. You know, make sure it doesn't just immediately throw a belt or whatever. I'll probably run it for a few seconds and then shut it off. Topless today. It's like old time. <laughs> now we used to test like 240 all the time and I never ran the hose, so it's kind of like back to my roots. <laughs> People, just got done of our first shakedown pass. Got here, went to the attack line over there, noticed the steering wheel wasn't straight, so first off we had to fix that. Got up there in the lanes, it's like freaking 95 degrees out here. Anyways, so first pass, I was really concentrated on doing just a 60 foot hit, then I forgot to shift, so I Tag the crap out of the rev limiter. But anyways, 133, 60 foot. It's not so great, but the uh, closed loop comp is 
It's uh, pulling 15 up top, which is a little bit much, but it's fine for what we're doing. I'm going to wait till it starts loading down the engine and then see if it starts um, kind of getting closer to what we want. If I make this eighth mile hit and it's still wanting to pull like 15%, I'll go ahead in the base tune, pull a couple numbers out of it just to bring it back down a little bit. But it's kind of hard to see. I need to get, since the front tires are now bigger than the rear tires and the thing already sits kind of like that, it's... And the, the burnout box here, you have to kind of go up a hill. So I'm doing a burnout and I can't see nothing but sky. So it's a little, it was like straight up out of my element there. So hopefully this next one I'll remember to shift and at least go all the way to the eighth, I'm thinking. So if we make anything below, say like a 5.1 to 5.0, we're going for a quarter mile. But until we do that, it's not worth doing because it won't run a 7 until it at least runs a 5.0. So. That's all we got for now. Second most uncomfortable pass of my life. I don't know if it's because the front end isn't on it or if it's because it sits like two inches higher in the front. I can barely see a thing and I just feel wildly uncomfortable. Compared to like, I mean, it felt like second nature to me before. Are you not recording? Okay. okay. So. I think I need to tighten up the steering a little bit because it's wanting to shimmy. And it was only going like, well, probably like 160 or something like that. Um, What are we going to do? Oh, check the time slip. I thought it was absolute garbage, but it did do 129, 60 foot in a 523 eighth mile, which is right at, pro it's really close. I think. The fastest eighth on this is a 5.2 something, so that's probably really close. But I do know 138 mile an hour in the eighth is the fastest mile an hour in the eighth. I'm like 95% sure. Letting out at probably 800-ish feet. I'll give myself that maybe somewhere around there. Um, it's still running at 8.23, so at 142, so we're what? Yeah, I let out pretty early. It just feels, it's just, I got to get used to it. I got to change a few things on the steering for me to feel more comfortable on it. It but looks really good. Yeah, but when I started, and I got squirrely on the shutdown. So I got to be careful. I don't know. Um, I'll just check the video and see how much separation I get. If I'm not getting much separation, then I need to go ahead and... Um, Loosen up the rebound a little bit more, just so it'll raise up. <laughs> it's not wheeling, but that would help with the wheelie, but it also help me be able to see, which would be nice. So, you can look at the log, make sure everything still looks good. I was only supposed to run into the eighth anyway, so whatever. I don't know. I haven't decided. If I can't get the steering to feel more comfortable, then we're not going for a second. So I definitely got to get that situated. So we're just going to check the log and see, make sure the vitals are good and all that.